Hi everyone, I'm Cerise. I'm Joe. And today we are talking about, well, you know what? I don't care what we're talking about because I didn't ask to be here. I never I wanted to make vlogs. I didn't ask to be born. I didn't ask for my parents to do to do the sex and to, to make me and to push me out of places. I didn't ask places. to beat out all those other sperm. I didn't ask for it. It's not my fault I was a better swimmer. Not my fault. I didn't ask to be put on this planet. I didn't ask to be alive in this stupid world and to have to work to survive and to have to deal with other stupid people. Nobody asked me. You can't tell me what to do. Nobody asked me. I about do not respect this. your authority. Nobody considered Leave me. Leave me alone. Nobody stopped to say, Joe, do you want to be a part of this? You want to you want to maybe no. be born into the they world? Did they? No. You, you, you want to maybe that. live this life? No. No one did that. There was no memo. I did not do it. There was no vote. I didn't choose this. I want to see the manager. Are you, are you getting the manager now? So, we're talking about that thought of, I didn't ask to be here. I didn't ask to be born. This wasn't my choice. And therefore, you I'm not responsible. Here. I'm not responsible. It's your fault. For anything. I don't need to follow your rules because you never consulted me. So the first thing that comes up for me when I look at this design is how disempowering it is. It's like a complete self-victimization, a complete giving up of your self-directive principle in order to blame the world or your Existence. parents or whatever mm. for apparently making you have this life instead of taking your creative capacity your creative potential, your directive potential, and creating a life within what is here. Because, I mean, let's face it, we're all here. Mm -hmm. I mean, you, sure, I suppose you could choose to opt out, but then, you know what, you're just going to face the same things over and over again. Yeah. So, we're here. We have to deal with what's here. This is our creation. Yeah, it's not like you can just say oh, I didn't ask to be here so everyone will just say oh oh sorry about that you're you are totally not obligated to do anything or face any consequence in fact you don't have to eat sorry we didn't consult you to, to the fact that you need to feed your body so why don't you just stop doing that we'll take care of it no that's not that's not how reality works the fact is you're here Regardless of whether or not you asked to be here, regardless of whether or not you particularly like where you are right now. If you like your parents, if you like your body, if you like your job, doesn't matter. If you like your president, if you like your hair. We're all here. We all have to make the most of here. And the fascinating thing is when you change your relationship to who you are in the context of being here, you can find that it's actually quite empowering when you take self-responsibility and realize that, hey, I am here. I'm part of this world. I don't need to focus on creating myself or manifesting myself. I'm here. I'm fully here, stable every day, day in and day out, and I've got the potential to do something with this because I have this. For everyone who's experiencing this, empower yourself. Think of how much different you could create your life if you take that ability to choose how you're gonna live rather than giving up your choices Mm -hmm. Giving up your ability to create the life that you want yeah. to the things and people around you. Yeah, because what is that statement really saying when you say, I didn't ask to be here? You're saying that there is some force outside of you that made that decision for you. And in that moment, you've already given up all of your authority as being aware as being alive even it's kind of like saying i didn't ask to be made i didn't ask for this awareness i didn't ask to be alive and able to discern and be aware of things so why should i do why it? should i have to be why should i have to be alive why should i care about anything around me why should i be alive because you because you told me to well sh i'll show you i think that the, for most of us 
when we experience this kind of thought, it's usually in relation to our parents. You gotta tell me what to do! I didn't ask to be here, I didn't ask you to, to make me. You owe me, you put me here, you're responsible. I don't care how much you gave up for me. You guys knocked boots, and you guys did the, the, the sideways naughty Tango. limbo. You guys did the beast with many legs. <laughs> and then the other dimension is when things go wrong in your life. Mm -hmm. When things go really bad. And I never asked for this. Why is this happening to me? I didn't even ask to be here. I didn't have to do all of this. I didn't have I'm to show up. I'm just trying to get by. I'm I... just trying to, like, deal with this I mean, life you're lucky. that you're... I've been put into. You're lucky I'm still here, be dealing with all of this. I could have just clocked out. It's, it is it is a difficult point when you're in it. I mean, you have different degrees of extremity. Um, you have some people who actually create themselves around this thought, and it becomes who they are. Mm. This, this, the world owes me. Yeah. I, I don't owe the world anything because I didn't ask for anything at all in the first place. And that's how they create themselves. And naturally, that's how their lives will be created from that. At the end of the day, you need to ask yourself the question, you're here, so what are you wanting to create? What are you going to do with your life? How are you going to make the most of it? How are you going to be a part of something that is important to you, something that matters, something that might even contribute to making a better world for everyone so that no one else has to face this experience that you're facing. And you might be part of creating a world where people were like, why didn't they ask me to be part of this world? I want to be part of this world. Why can't I be part of that world? Instead of, I didn't ask to be here. I didn't ask to be put in this place. Let's focus on creating a world that we want to be in and that we want our children to be in and that we want to bring puppies and kittens into and not worry about what kind of life they're going to have and what kind of pain they're going to gonna go through. And not have to ever face them in the eyes when they ask us, why did you bring me here? A world where we can comfortably say, we brought you here because that's where we would have wanted to be. I think that covers the point pretty well. Thanks for watching, everyone. Remember, please, to like and share and subscribe and support us on Patreon. Yes. And empower yourself and stop blaming people and mm. take responsibility for yourself. And watch our videos. Watch our, yeah, take responsibility for yourself. To watch all of our videos. All of our videos, mm. especially as the new ones are released. I think you should watch it at least five times yeah. for each new and, video. And share it every time. That you Every watch time it. you watch it. Yeah, because we didn't ask to, to keep doing these videos. I mean, we really, we're doing you a favor. So, hopefully, we've made a difference in your life and in your day. And share the love so that it can make a difference in other people's lives and their days, too. I like what she said better. Just listen to her. Yeah, because I'm female. That's just how it goes. So. I didn't ask to be male. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you next time.